everybody. Uh, yeah, I'm Eric Fredrickson, head of public art with the city of Vancouver. And uh, I'd like to acknowledge that we're gathered here today on the ancestral and unceded territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Slavery. Within uh, cultural services, we delivered a new strategy recently to council, Culture Shift. And within Culture Shift is a commitment that the public art program, program is making to work with the Musqueam, Squamish, and Slavery to, to increase their visibility and voice on these lands. Uh, tonight, I'm here to help mark the launch of this amazing work by Rodney Brown, Spinning Chandelier, funded and commissioned by West Bank on behalf of the uh, city's public art program. Uh, for years to come, this will be an iconic part of the cityscape, welcoming visitors and residents into this space that we probably haven't spent a lot of time uh, lingering in before tonight. Hundreds of years ago, this would have been a rich intertidal ecosystem. And uh, more recently, when, say four decades ago, we would have seen a haze of smoke and a whole bunch of uh, lumber lying around. Today, we have a chandelier, and it's a space to gather in the city. And twice a day, starting in tonight, it will be the site of a really amazing spectacle. The project has been in development for a half decade now, and it started under my predecessor in the city, Brian Newsom, uh, who had made a commitment to realizing major works of public art in the city and working with developers like Ian Glesby at West Bank and uh, his art consultant, Reed Shire, and everybody else that's been involved in this. This is the culmination of a really long period of, of work, a lot of collaboration, a lot of dedication to the realization of the project. Um, I'd like to especially thank Rodney Graham and his and his studio for the brilliant idea, Rodney's brilliant idea, and the patience and dedication it took to bring us to today and to deliver it here on site. Rodney is a key figure, as you know, in the, in the history of Vancouver art and, and in the history of art generally. Um, he was someone who really showed that it was possible to build and maintain an international career while living and working in Vancouver. And his support, encouragement, and mentorship of many other artists is a key reason why Vancouver has the strong and rich and diverse and um, fascinating art scene that it has, that it has now. Uh, I'm very happy that this major work of his will be a permanent presence in the city, and I'd like to uh, congratulate him for the achievement. You know, when you put whoa, when you put these kind of events on, you're never actually sure until you get here whether anyone's going to show up. So, thank you for showing up. I'm going to be I'm going to be two seconds. Um, the first thing I want to say is for I, I I hope and I and I suspect there's a lot of people that live in the buildings around us um, that are here tonight, the neighborhood. Um, and so the first thing I need to say is I'm so sorry about all the construction. Um, I know it's gone on for seemingly too long, and um, but it's as you can see it's 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 coming to an end, and um, and then you can get back to enjoying uh, this wonderful neighborhood, and hopefully we'll make great neighbors and we'll do some amazing stuff here. So that's number one. Number two, I want to say is. If you can imagine hanging a chandelier from the underside of the Granville Street Bridge, that's not something that happens every day. Two tons of chandelier hanging from underneath the bridge. And the only way that happens is it's a big team effort. And we happen to have in the city of Vancouver some amazing people in the engineering department. I know nobody ever thanks the engineering department. All you do is you complain about the, the, the backup sewer or the, or, the, or, the, or the road that needs to be repaired. But we actually have this amazing engineering department in Vancouver. And I just want to give a big shout out to them because this doesn't happen without a whole lot of effort from the amazing engineering department. The other thing I'll say is that um, we're actually going to experience this with you exactly the same time you are. I have yet to see it. This is the first performance um, of what's going to go on now for the next few hundred years. And we all get to share it together for the first time. So let's cross our legs. Um, so, um, I, 
I'm, I'm, this is our, this is at West Bank, this is our 56th public art installation. Um, and I hope uh, there's another 56 to go. Um, but this is, this is, um, I hope, I think it'll become one of the most important pieces of public art in our country. And um, to have Rodney Graham, um, one of, one of the scholars of, of, of Canadian art, to have a major installation of his um, at such a cool space, I think is a really great thing for Vancouver. Um, so I'm just thrilled that we could, um, we could help make that happen. I'm going to turn it over now to um, our favorite mayor, um, um, Kennedy Stewart. Come on up. Thank you. Thank you for all coming up. Thank you so much. Well, hello, everybody. How are you doing tonight? Are you ready for this? Oh, yeah. You're going to be able to say to people, I was there. I was there most important piece of public art in the history of our city. This is a fantastic piece that's coming forward. First, I'd like to say, though, we always have to acknowledge we're on the unceded traditional territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Slavotooth, and we thank them for working with us as we build this great city together. I also, as the previous speakers, Mr. Gillespie, and our great City of Vancouver staff who have worked so hard to put this together. Let's give a round of applause to the staff of the City of Vancouver. You know, I love uh, sod turnings for new public housing, new rental housing, almost as much as I love doing this. This is a fantastic uh, part of being mayor, is to unveil fantastic public amenities like this one. We really have to thank Ian Gillespie for his contribution, not just for this piece, but for art all around the city. Let's hear it for Ian and, and, and the work he's doing. Really, let's give it up for him. He does so much to make this city such a great place to live, work, and play. Again, I, I can't wait to see this thing, so I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to talk too much longer. But what I am going to say next is introduce you to a, a legend here in Vancouver, the artist who put this together in so much public art around this city, uh, Mr. Rodney Graham, a legend, and we can't wait to hear about this fantastic piece. Please come up and uh, let us know what we're going to see. Thank you, everybody, for coming here this evening. Let's get more art in this city. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I'm just going to read this. I hope it's not too boring, but I have a lot of people to thank. <clears throat> um, I have many people to thank, starting with uh, Sir Isaac Newton, who proposed an experiment in support of his theory that absolute space is the reference for all motion. This involved the observation of the modifications on the surface of water in a bucket suspended from a rope that is wound up and released. Okay, I'm not going to go into details about the experiment. Suffice to say, the image of it inspired a train of thought that led me to make a short film of a spinning chandelier called Torque Chandelier Release. When Ian Gillespie in West Bank asked me to uh, forward a proposal for this site, I was more than a bit stumped until Shannon Oxenen suggested that I make a real-life version of the spinning chandelier. She has a lot of good ideas. So thanks, uh, Isaac Newton, thanks, Shannon. Despite being a so-called conceptual artist, very little comes out of my brain unaided. And if you think I had anything to do with the actual making of this work, you'd be wrong. My amazing studio manager, Scott Livingstone, hope you saw this from start to finish. He coordinated everything and made many important decisions for me important decisions for me when I felt out of my depth. Scott, thank you. <clears throat> I want to thank my uh, great studio assistants, Craig Petman and Claire Gibson, who kept things running smoothly uh, on other fronts while this was going on. Uh, I also saw uh, Sherry Killaman and uh, Mamie Angus uh, here tonight, and I bought the original chandelier from them at, at their uh, store called French Country Antiques. This is an exact, pretty well exact replica of that chandelier that I bought for the film. Um, the city of Vancouver has been amazing and incredibly supportive uh, of a project that has so many complicated uh, challenges, and I want to thank Brian Newsom, 
and Karen Henry of the uh, Public Art Program, and Brian Charleston and uh, Jerry DeGrove on the of Engineering Services. <laughs> Dealing uh, with uh, uh, the Walla Walla foundries really been incredible. This is a kind of an amazing uh, fabricating institution in, in uh, Walla Walla, Washington. And, uh, I decided to work with, kind of really felt that they were the only people who could do it, and they did an absolutely amazing job. <laughs> and also, I want to ex express my con condolences to the, everyone at the Foundry for the loss of their company owner, Mark Anderson, who died suddenly very recently. Uh, he, I know he wanted to see this um, project realized. Um, and I wouldn't have been able to uh, work with all these incredible people that hadn't been for the support of Ian Gillespie and West Bank and their willingness to do this thing exactly as I perhaps stubbornly insisted. Um, so thanks a lot to everybody at West Bank. And I want to send a special thanks to Reed Chair and Howard Dantiger who coordinated this project with the studio in West Bank. Sorry, it's just not a very inspiring speech, but thank you a lot for coming, and uh, I really appreciate you showing up. Thank you. Cheers. All right, I am it, I promise. Um, we are going to just take a very few moments. Uh, we're going to let uh, Rodney get a little bit closer out into the audience. He'd love to see the spinning chandelier do its drop uh, from the audience vantage point. So if you'll bear with us for just a very few moments, we, the moment is almost here. Um, thank you again for coming. This is an incredible sea of people, of community in the Beach District. And of course, it's only going to be enlivened more and more in the months ahead. Um, all right, now, I'm hoping they have made their way into the audience. And in just a moment, it's going to be the reveal of the spinning chandelier. All right. They Okay. <laughs> All right. On the controls, I am going to now ask you to present our spinning chandelier.